Neil deGrasse Tyson, uh, host of Fox's Cosmos Possible World, airing Tuesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern on Fox. And you mentioned about hope. And uh, the new season I'm reading here will reveal, it says, uh, the notes, the new season will reveal previously uncharted realms, including lost worlds and worlds to come, and those that may we may one day inhabit in a thrilling future we can still have. I'm reading into that. Tell me if I'm wrong. You're talking about the New York Knicks, right, Neil? <laughs> Correct? Did I did I get that correct, or am I just reading a little bit too much in between the lines? So you talking about the next you know, We talk about our childhood. Um, <laughs> when I was in middle school, it yes. was I think it was uh, the Knicks were winning, right, and they won some championships. So I have like indelible <laughs> memories of Walt Frazier and Dave DeBusschere sure. and, and Bill Bradley, Bill Bradley, who became a sure. senator and uh, wrote a best selling couple of best selling books. Yeah. So that. You know, when you're a kid, you think that's a forever state of existence, nope. and then you realize that they that no, that's a special moment where a certain combination of talent gathers in the same place at the same time. Mm. Right? You can have other bits of talent that show up, mm. but if they're scattered, then it doesn't come together. Like, for example, um, uh, they're they're great basketball players who never actually won a championship, right? Because they other players didn't gather in the same place at the same time. So I tweeted, <laughs> I didn't know if it was mean or mm-hmm. fun or whatever. Uh, I, I just I just tweeted a simple fact. I try to just tweet facts. Of course. So people take them as they do. I, I said, the last time the Knicks won a championship, um, there were only 105 known elements on the periodic table. <laughs> and now there's like 100. 18 or 119. See, we discovered <laughs> we discover new elements, and the reason why um, I think that there is no hope for the Knicks is because of the one element in the owner, and James Dolan, and I despise him um, as a Nick fan, um, and and thus, uh, just to make you familiar potentially with my work and what we do here on the show, anytime his name comes up, I can't stop hating on the man and calling him out for his dreadful... Uh, ownership skills to the point where we have nicknamed that moment here on the show the Dolan wormhole. I can't get out of the gravitational pull. So now that I have an actual astro uh, physicist here on this program, wh- what is the gravitational pull, I guess, of the Dolan wormhole just upon okay, so hearing here's the it? Thing is- I, wormhole's not quite right because a wormhole, yes, yes it's a hole, yes. but it just takes you to another place. Right, and another place is not necessarily better or worse. It's just a different place. Oh. It's the black hole. What happens is you start talking about him, and you can't get out of that hole because you you have no end of negative things to say about him. And black holes, there's not much positive to say when you're falling into a black hole. <laughs> okay, so so you're saying the word the, the term Dolan wormhole for this on an astrophysics front makes no sense, is what you're saying? No, no, not really. If you want to make it to make sense in the sports world. It would be the Dolan black hole. Okay. That's, that's it. Okay. The Knicks are deep in that black hole. When you talk about it, you fall into that black hole. Right. And there's nothing redeeming about it. What so, if the yeah. what if the Dolan wormhole takes me to a darker place? What if it takes the place that it actually leads me is just in a place where I have, feel no hope? What if it's a... it, it, it could be. Okay. It could be wormholes that lead to uh, hopeless places. Okay. Uh, <laughs> there's some talk that there could be parallel universes where the, the multiverse and not all universes are sort of equally okay. charitable to sustaining life as we know it so is this the place so, where, so if the dolan wormhole could take me to the place where the knicks have michael jordan and win six titles is that what you're saying is that what you're saying apparently it's not this dolan wormhole <laughs> <laughs> okay but in principle yes. uh, in principle so again from an astrophysics point of view in theory this is possible that me complaining about the Knicks owner so much that it's called a Dolan wormhole. It takes me to an alternate universe where the Knicks had Jordan and won six times with him. Yeah, yeah. You can, but would Dolan be the one who would do that? So that's my point. Mm. It would be a Knicks wormhole that that went to another universe that had different outcomes. Okay. And so you want him out of that hole. You don't want him in there with you. So you would suggest you I change me, it? We you change the bad mouth in the guy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Very good. Very good. So it's black hole. It's now officially the Dolan, Dolan black, black hole. hole. Very good. Probably we want to make sure we're buttoned up. Accurate. Again, we just want to be well, accurate. I 